Well, thanks to websites like Family Tree DNA and Ancestry.com, along with TV shows like Who Do You Think You Are, a genealogy is pretty popular these days. But is paying big bucks to find out your history really worth it? Consumer advocate Michelle Mortensen finds out in tonight's Try It Before You Buy It, and she tests out Family Tree DNA. Ever wonder if you're related to royalty? Or maybe you were switched at birth? TV shows like Who Do You Think You Are prove anything is possible if you have a DNA kit and some genealogy experts. But do those kits really open the door to your past? Or is it all TV magic? The folks at Family Tree DNA offered me a chance to find out. They sent me a DNA kit to unlock my history. I swabbed my cheeks, sent off the vials, and waited for the results and I was expecting confirmation of things I already knew. Like my maternal side is from Italy. Here's a picture of my grandfather as a boy in Pietragala, Italy with his parents. My grandma, she's from Italy too. Her mother, my great, great grandmother, Albina Tiberi, was related to the Roman Emperor Tiberius, who reigned until the year 37 AD. On my father's side, there's no royalty, but quite a rich history. This is a picture of my great-great-grandfather, John Peter, and his family. Roy? That's my great-grandfather. And at this time, the family was known as the Mortensons, because my great-great-grandfather, John Peter, was the son of Morton Jensen. That's right, we're actually Jensen's. Looking through the family Bible, it was very common in Denmark for people's last name to be their father's name with sen attached. The practice dates back to the early 1700s in our family tree. The family Bible also shows the history of my paternal great-grandmother. She was from England. My dad's mom also has British roots. Her mom was from Scotland. Her dad was Jewish and originally from Russia. See, I knew a lot, but my results didn't totally line up with what I knew. Let me show you. Family Tree DNA sends you an origins breakdown just like this. And this is what surprised me. It says that I'm about 12% Italian, not 50%. Remember, my mom's side is 100% Italian, according to our records in history. But get this. It also claims I'm 27% Middle Eastern from Asia Minor, which I've never heard before. But people probably immigrated from there over to Italy. And when you add the two percentages together, it totals 39% which is almost the 50% that I thought I was. Another surprise? Well, none of my British heritage showed up at all. And my Danish side only came in as 21%. I presumed it would be higher. Now, adding to the confusion, my dad decided to do a DNA test with another company. And his results showed he's 34% British, but only 15% Danish. Could I be more Danish than my dad? When I asked the Family Tree DNA folks, they taught me we are not 50-50 splits of our parents. In my case, I may have gotten more of my dad's Danish DNA than the British. That also means I could have more of my dad's DNA than my mom's, explaining why I'm not 50% Italian as I thought. Interesting. So wow. now that you're royalty, I'm going to say Lady Michelle Mortensen <laughs> yes. has tonight's story. Um, Thank you. So I like that. <laughs> I like that. We'll so what did, you, what did you think of the, the, um, the outcome? You know, I, I enjoy doing it, but it's not as cut and dry as you'd like right. to think. There mm. are some surprises. Mm. You have to do with a lot of digging yourself. It's not like the TV show, Who Do You Think You Are? If right. we hadn't done all this genealogy, right. we wouldn't have known it. Personally, though, I think it's worth it. From Family Tree, prices start at 80 bucks, And I am so glad that I know this stuff now mm -hmm. because I can pass it on to my girls. Yeah. It absolutely does. And yeah. I love those pictures, and I can't thank my dad enough for, like, hunting them all down. That's pretty cool. $80. All right. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. Or we could call Michelle the Duchess. Oh. I mean, I like that. The